Hi, I'm Chris, and welcome to my channel, Synergistic Singing. So today I wanted to mention a perspective that I found really helpful in my singing, and it took a very long time to get to this perspective. And then when I um, did get to that place, I didn't, I couldn't quite sum up in a sentence what uh, what it was and how it was helpful. So it was delightful to read Positive Intelligence by Shirzad Shamin. Um, I'm not uh, being paid to promote this book. <laughs> I just really like it. I think it's a great book. Um, but I was delighted to find a, just in, you know, a one sentence, what perspective is a, the most helpful one to take when you are learning how to sing. And this perspective is um, to look at every sound you make and every movement you make to create that sound as either a gift or an opportunity or that you could actively turn those sounds or movements into a gift or opportunity. And for a lot of people, that's not seen as, that, that doesn't go on their radar as an actual perspective that they could take. And usually the different perspective that's that's taken is that they suck. <laughs> and that's just the only perspective they have. <laughs> they sing, they listen back and say terrible. <laughs> and that's that's all they got. So it's really nice to have, you know, some alternative ways of um, looking at your singing. When I first started singing, I uh, had this approach to my singing. I every sound I made and and mind you, I couldn't sing in tune at all. So no one would have said when I first started singing that uh, I was a good singer. And yet um, I loved it. I loved singing. It was really interesting to me. And uh, funnily enough, I got much better at singing, but in the process, I lost that perspective. And it took me a while to circle all the way back around and find it again. And it was especially difficult because uh, our society tends to be both ignorant and incredibly cruel to anyone who wants to sing. And uh, that's a really, really different uh, attitude than what we find in, you know, early civilization where people would sing as a way to connect with each other and you grew up with singing and you weren't a passive listener the way a lot of people are today. Um, almost everyone was singing. That was that was your main musical instrument and your main way of fun. There was no TV, right? So, so um, singing and music was a community glue in a sense, um, and it was not about you know um, it wasn't about achievement and it wasn't about being an individual. It wasn't about you know making yourself um, a star or or what have you. And so um, that's okay. There's, there's a, it's wonderful to achieve great things in your singing, um, but we've kind of lost that perspective of um, welcoming any sound that anyone has to offer as a singer. And so as a result, we've really become trained when we first start singing to be really, really harsh and self-critical. And um, you know, how, how do you deal with that? So this is a, uh, a book that I found incredibly helpful, although it is very challenging <laughs> to take that perspective with everything in your life. So I am by no means <laughs> uh, <laughs> great at this ability, but I have over time developed it with my singing and with my students, and um, it's made teaching singing, learning singing incredibly enjoyable. Um, compared to the the other aspect <laughs> or the other approach that most people have, the uh, like oh my gosh that's terrible approach. <laughs> so um, so yeah. So if you are a beginning singer or if you um, struggle with your own self criticism in your singing, uh, I would definitely challenge you to look at every sound you make as a gift or an opportunity or um, something that could be actively turned into one of those things. And of course, I highly recommend checking out uh, this book. It's uh, Positive Intelligence by Shir Zad Shamin, and I'll include that in the description below.
For more videos like this, make sure to subscribe and for voice lessons either online or in my Austin, Texas studio, go to synergisticsinging.com schedule a lesson. Thanks for watching.